before Duterte came into power, uh, the Philippines already has a very big drug problem. Uh, basically, the government has been trying to uh, control it by a combination of law enforcement and rehabilitation of drug dependence. So, when Duterte, Duterte came to power, uh, he emphasized more on law enforcement. He believed that uh, the drug problem is a security problem more than a medical or social problem. The Duterte administration, since day one, has been very hard on uh, drug problem. So they employed the police, the military, and uh, the other security services to arrest and kill and stop drug uh, problem in the Philippines. But I don't think it has worked because we still have drug problem and there's still a lot of drugs that are coming in from abroad, especially coming from China. So I don't see any uh, improvement in the drug situation. Before Duterte came into power, there is really no empirical data to show that uh, uh, street crimes are related to drugs. But Duterte used that uh, narrative to win the elections in 2016. So after he came to power, uh, rape, murders, and robberies that are happening in the cities are attributed to drugs. Actually, the government has not released uh, any data to show that uh, drug-related crimes has gone down. But they were only showing that the number of robberies, the number of rapes, the number of assault has gone down. But the number of murders has increased since the drug war started because most of the uh, suspected drug users, drug dealers, and peddlers were killed in police operations. Reporting the drug war on the ground, we have encountered so many uh, instances when people who were, get, who were killed were innocent. Uh, I remember one person with a disability who was gunned down in Manila. Obviously, this guy is not a drug dependent. This guy is not a drug peddler. But because he happened to be on an area where drug peddling is very rampant, the police suspected him to be a drug courier. So, unluckily, the guy was killed. And we interviewed the mother, the brother, and they said that, this person, this, this guy is not a user, not a peddler, not a courier. So why did the police kill him? It, it was really heartbreaking. The story of many people, innocent people, getting get killed because of the drug war. There were instances when children get caught in the crossfire. The target is probably their fathers or uh, that was selling drugs. But because he was in the same area where there was an encounter between the police and the drug suspect, the child was killed. And there were also many stories that people who were already arrested uh, were executed by the police. Uh, remember, there were there was this story of a father and son who were inside a police detention center. And the uh, police claimed that uh, they tried to grab a firearm from a police officer. So they were shot uh, instantly uh, in their cell. And normally, we do not believe that story because you are already arrested. You are inside jail. And why would you resist arrest? Why would you grab a gun? So there are many stories of uh, unnecessary killings done by the police. 
uh, since July of 2016. In the five years that I have been covering the drug war, uh, many families are not willing to talk to the police uh, when, whenever their friends or their family members get killed. Uh, they are afraid to talk. They keep it to themselves. But privately, when we talk to them, probably after the incident, they express their fear, their worry, uh, their concern that uh, the drug war has been creating a lot of uh, violence and uh, a lot of uh, killings in the Philippines, which is not uh, healthy uh, for the democracy in the Philippines. Personally, I think Duterte was wrong in putting more emphasis on law enforcement in dealing with the problem. The right approach is a combination uh, of law enforcement as well as rehabilitating uh, the drug dependents. I think it's if you have a more humane way of uh, addressing the problem, you will get more cooperation from the people. Well, if Duterte did not focus on law enforcement and security in dealing with the drug problem, we will have lesser people killed and no unnecessary lives will be lost. Well, if you change the approach by putting more emphasis on the health of uh, the drug dependents, probably the public would support uh, the policy, the policy of uh, the new administration on, on uh, addressing the drug issue. Uh, maybe it will not only get support, it will also get funding from Congress because most of the congressmen are not in favor of uh, the drug war killings. Well, the next administration will have difficulty in uh, stopping uh, the supply uh, of drugs that is going into the country, coming from countries like China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan, or even in the Golden Triangle in Southeast Asia. That is the biggest challenge, how to control drug smuggling. Because the demand for drugs can be addressed locally by the government. So I think the Philippines, uh, under the new government, should coordinate and cooperate more with international agencies, uh, with other countries, in stopping the flow of drugs into the country. Time and again, we have heard Duterte saying that he will not participate in an international tribunal like the International Criminal Court because he said the crimes that happened in the Philippines are local crimes and he is taking full responsibility of the killings that happened in the Philippines but he wanted to face local courts only and accept punishment from local judges, but will not take it from a judge who is not a Filipino. The ICC, the International Criminal Court, can also ensure a fair investigation into the drug war killings in the Philippines by getting cooperation from the families of the victims of the drug war and from various human rights groups in the Philippines. Uh, there are also international groups like Amnesty International and the Human Rights Watch uh, that are helping uh, the victims of uh, the drug war uh, to get their uh, to get uh, justice uh, in, the, in the ICC. But I don't know how much of that process will be 
successful if the government will not cooperate. The only hope for the families of uh, the drug war victims is an investigation from the International Criminal Court because they do not have faith. They do not trust the justice system in the Philippines. Uh, if Duterte is held accountable for the crimes that has been done in the Philippines in relation to the drug war, the families of these drug war victims will be happy. And for them, there would be closure uh, for the deaths of their loved ones. For the families of uh, the drug war victims, there should be closure only if President Duterte is held accountable for the crimes that he has committed since day one in office. And the next president should ensure that justice is done, that investigation should be done fairly, and he should not condone or protect Duterte. I think the next president should allow the process to go on independently. Let the process go on and the acts to fall on whoever is guilty and the next president should not interfere or ignore the cries of justice of the people. If the ICC did not investigate uh, the drug war problem in the Philippines, the families of the drug war victims cannot hope for justice. And we are still uncertain if the next administration will investigate uh, the drug war killings. Remember that the leading candidate in the election in May are related to Duterte. His daughter might become the next vice president and she could block any investigation related to the drug war. So for the people, for the families of the victims of the drug war, they cannot hope for any justice under this administration or in the next administration if Duterte's daughter wins. So their only hope is for the International Criminal Court to help them get justice. It's very frightening uh, for Filipinos that uh, Sara Duterte, the daughter of the president, will continue the drug war killings. It has done enough damage and to continue that, it's a disaster for the Philippines. Well, we heard a lot of uh, promises from candidates, from other candidates who said that they want to continue the drug war, but they would modify it uh, to have less killings, uh, to pursue a more humane approach in the drug war. It is a welcome, it's a big relief for people, especially for families who had suffered much under Duterte's administration.